Hey everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are enjoying your summer day there. I just needed to get away. Just needed kind of a me day without any van projects for one day. Well, I'm gonna take the bike out and show you my e-bike, my new e-bike finally, but we're not doing any van projects. I rolled through this campground that is uh, really close to base camp. That's why I never really talk about it much, but uh, they had one opening, one cancellation for one night and that's it and it worked. It was exactly what I needed. And as you can see, we're uh, lakefront here. I still haven't swapped out the rooftop AC. Might need somebody's help with that, but look at this. And it's so much cooler over here by the lake. In fact, just standing here in the shade, so relaxing right here. Look at that view, guys. Oh man, I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. There's a link below if you need some mobile unlimited internet. Thanks for joining me, guys. You guys wanna check out this e-bike? Been, I've been waiting to share it with you. I've been testing it out. All right, so if you have followed my e-bike saga, you know it's been an interesting one. Luckily, uh, this company, Himway, there's their name right there, Himway. They reached out to me, saw my problems with my Espen e-bike and said, hey, uh, we'd like for you to enjoy this one. So <laughs> they sent it to me for free and said, uh, go ahead and ride it, enjoy it. We have full confidence that you are going to love it. And I'll tell you what guys, I've put on about 30 miles on this sucker. This is the biggest e-bike capacity battery that I've ever seen. It does have the four inch fat tires from Kenda, and it's got the little re re reflective marks around the edge. It's got a 750 watt Himaway branded rear hub motor there. Look at this, look at this guys. Mechanical brakes, exactly what I told you guys about a few weeks ago. Kind of a must have. Um, hydraulic brakes on an e-bike just don't do very well with the vibrations of carrying it on the back of your RV. And uh, so yeah, mechanical brakes are a lot easier to maintain and everything. So this is how I'm going to be transporting the bike for my travels. Um, I've got the extra external lights mounted here. This is a custom job I did it in my last video. So very, very secure there, wired up to the hitch there with brake lights, turn signals, running lights, and I repositioned my license plate with a license plate light here because in 47 states out of the country, if you put a bicycle on the back of your vehicle and you block your tail lights, your blinkers, or your license plate, if you do that, you can get in big trouble. So in case you didn't know, yeah, that's kind of a necessity that nobody else does. <laughs> They just wait till they get pulled over and act dumb. And if that works for you, that works. But yeah, I'm gonna take this guy off and we're gonna check it out together, guys. So um, before we go back out though, so it's just Jax and I for this particular little camping trip right now. Tara is at the vet this morning and they want to keep her overnight. And th th this worries me that just in our little visit right there, they, they are not comfortable with her. She was very dehydrated which surprises me because she's got unlimited water in the house, in the RV, and in the van. But yeah, they had to hook her up to an IV. They also did some blood tests because they found, get this, a heart murmur. Now they didn't find, the, the same vet did not find a heart murmur uh, back in, what was it, uh, April, May, when I adopted her from the, the shelter there. That They didn't mention anything about a heart murmur. As you know from January, Jax has a heart murmur as well. So um, I've got my phone ringer on, which is something very unusual for me. The ringer's gonna stay on for them to call me, but it, they already basically told me that they're gonna keep Tara overnight. And so I'm a, I'm a little concerned about that. It felt very weird. I don't know what it is about me, guys. I'm a very emotional person when it comes to cats. Just leaving the actual vet clinic, I was crying walking back to the van to see Jax. Just crying for the fact that I knew I had to leave her there overnight. I'm like, man. Anyways, y'all hate it when I show my true emotions and cry, so hi, everything is awesome. So, now I did get the bike sent to me for free, but I purchased this bike carrier for 425 dollars 
It is a very specific carrier that is meant to hold two e-bikes actually, weighing 85 pounds a piece. And since this sucker weighs 77 pounds, I don't think you can just buy any, any of those generic cheap ones online. So that's why I went with this good one. It was on Amazon. If you're interested, there's the name, Vibrelli. So it comes with these fat tire holders that are adjustable. It came with four of them. So you'd put the other one here and the other bike would be in the front if you wanted to carry two fat tire bikes. Uh, they're adjustable. It's got the latch here. It came with two of these. So you would turn this and then this lifts up. But I wanted to also mention that both of these also have their own lock. So there's a key that comes with it. So it's like extra secure. Obviously you're, you're gonna wrap a chain around this and chain it to the hitch. But with this locking here, so you can't turn this and raise this up, you really can't get the e-bike off. So it's got some extra safety security features that I really like. And you may notice how close it is to the back. I decided to put my one here so that I can install the brake lights and have the license plate here. If I had another bike here, that wouldn't work. I would have had to attach this to the second bike. So my other e-bike, my blue Espen, somebody has already claimed that. More on that later, but Eric, how do you access the door? Well, another reason why I bought this one specifically, you put your foot right here, hold on to this, push this down, and the whole thing tilts. Now, uh, Amber has one that tilts out this way from her van, but this one works for me. Gives me all, and this is on the inside, remember? The door opens completely up. So I still have access to the back. But let me get this sucker off and show you how easy that is. I hate the sound the air conditioner's making, but it does keep it a little cooler in there right now. So, undo these on the wheel, both of them like that. Then take this pin out right here, like that. Put that down, loosen this guy up, unlock it if it were locked. And then I just take that guy off, flip this guy down like that. Grab the bike here, here, lift, good to go. While we got the bike off the hitch here, let me let me mention a couple other things. I really like this Himaway branded seat. It's got a nice handle right there. Uh, it's got front suspension here. Doesn't have rear suspension, but I have found that I don't really need it. I mean, you could get a suspension seat if you wanted to, but because the tires are so fat, I don't need it. It literally comes with this rear rack. It's got a wood inlay here that says Himaway on it. It also has the brake light here, and yes, it will light up and get darker when you hit the brakes of your bike. In fact, let's turn this guy on and show you here. It's a little dusty and dirty there, but if I tap this light right there, we've got LED headlights there, so four of those. They are super bright at night. I feel very confident in that. And then the tail light. This is just the uh, tail light that when you hit the brakes, which I can't reach holding the camera, it does get brighter. Let's see, we got these huge big fenders on both tires so you can ride in the rain. The bike, uh, the, ba the battery itself, you can charge it right there. And then there's a keyhole right there. It comes with a key so you can take the battery off and store that separately. The only reason I'm not doing it right now is because once I take the battery off, I don't want the terminals of the bike to get corroded from the rain and the dust and the weather. So I'm still looking for a cap that goes on that for travel so you don't have to travel with the battery on the back. But yeah, it's got Shimano uh, shifting gears and stuff like that. Anything else? No, I think that's just about it. Everybody always wants to know how fast these things go. Well, what you should know is that all e-bikes here in the United States, in this country at least, they're shipped as a certain class, and I'm sorry I don't have that information, but there's a bunch of different classes to be able to make it still legally a bicycle that you pedal. So it's shipped a certain way, and at the top speed that it's set right now is set to 22.4 miles an hour. That is throttle only, not, not, not pedaling. And if you're not familiar with e-bikes, that's the cool thing is it's pedal assist. So when you start pedaling, it helps you. But this bike has, just like a motorcycle, half of, the, half of this is the throttle. It's gonna take off on, on, on me there. I don't know, if you get somewhere and you're really tired, you're going up a hill, you don't have to pedal. You can just do the throttle. And they're rating it for this battery, 45 miles. 45 miles round trip on one battery, which is, Quite a quite a claim. I've I have charged it twice now after about 20 mile rides, and that's down like two clicks from five. But you know, it, it doesn't hurt to charge it early. So 
anyway, what I meant to say is you can go into the settings here and you can change how many levels of assist, like it's set to five, you can make it nine, and then you can change the max speed up to, I think like 29 miles per hour. Obviously you can go faster when you're pedaling, but 29 miles an hour throttle only. But yeah, let me grab my uh, helmet and my nice riding glasses and we'll go for a little ride here. All right, let's, uh, let's go for a little ride here and uh, I'll show you a little more of this bike. So pedal assist one right now, you can get an idea for how fast I'm pedaling. And it's pretty much right there at 12, 12 or 13 miles per hour there good little cruising speed as you're going i can use my left hand and i can up it with the plus right there and go to two well i guess and three now we're up to 18 19 20 miles an hour even let me switch hands here and again if i ever just want to stop pedaling i can stop pedaling and then i can come right over here this doesn't care what uh, pedal assist you're in i'm only in three but if i just rock this back all the way it's gonna to go to the max speed eventually of 22 something. 22, oh, 22, yeah, about 22 miles an hour. I gotta pay attention though here. It's kind of quick for a bicycle, you know? Back down here into pedal assist one. I noticed something when I was editing this last time is that from this camera with the GoPro 9, you can't even see me pedaling. And it's just so crystal smooth, stable in the background that it looks like I'm just floating. No, I'm. I'm actually pedaling. <laughs> I do want to mention as we uh, go through another camping loop here that uh, if I were to just turn it all the way down to zero pedal assist, it's still just a normal bike. It's just not going to help you anymore. So if the battery runs dead or something, you're just riding a bike like normal. But the bike is just so stable. And I, I guess it's because of the fat tires but it really absorbs all the little rocks and stuff so much better than my other e-bike that I had. I'm really happy with how it rides in, in, in any surface. You know, grass, off-road, muddy, wet conditions. I've, I've tried it all in the last 30 or so miles. So um, it's a really fun bike. And uh, I've yet to really test the whole range thing. Like I said, I think the most I went on one ride was 22 miles and I had two clicks left. That was with pedal assist also, but you know, it's, it's a really fun e-bike and really moving forward with the van life, this is perfect. I don't need the motorcycle. I like the idea of getting some exercise out on the road and uh, it's gonna get me around 20, 30 miles outside my RV. So that's a good thing, right? Okay, you're gonna see me using this e-bike a lot more in the future for vlogging, for exploring outside uh, while we have the van until we get the main RV fixed. Uh, smart car, we didn't talk about the smart car too, I guess. Well, there's not really much to say about the smart car. They did let me know that the part did not come in in time here on Thursday for me. So they're not gonna be fixing that on Friday tomorrow, which means this will run into Monday at least, which will be day 15 without my smart car. Just really having a hard time finding a radiator fan for a smart Mer Mercedes car. Yeah. You guys like how I picked out the perfect chair for Vanna White? <laughs> The, the green teal that matches the green teal, not necessarily matches the lighter teal, but this green matches the darker teal here. And uh, oh no, I, I think it looks pretty good next to it. People have asked me about putting an awning on her. Well, she had one. I will never know why they took the awning off. I know where I can find one in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I'll consider getting another one. Absolutely. But yeah, it's hot. You miss your baby sister. I know, I do too, man. I hope she's okay. They told us we'd get a call tonight, okay? Before 5 p or 6 p.m. we'll get a call, okay? Okay. I need to quit leaving the seat, the lid up on the toilet. Looks tacky. Looks tacky, Eric. Man, I hate this toilet. I hate it. Up front, everything's a mess, but <laughs> I, I did bring the huge elongated porcelain toilet wood seat replacement here by Dometic. However, like I said, I'm not doing anything today. So it's with me, but I'm not doing this project today, tomorrow.
Hey, Jax and I just got a phone call from the vet here in town. They said that Tara is doing much, much better. They're gonna keep her under observation uh, for the night here in town and said that they're gonna call me after 8 a.m. tomorrow. So we'll go pick her up on the way out of this campground, head back to base camp for projects in the morning. I'm really happy. They said she's doing a lot better and uh, they're just gonna keep a close eye on her. So it's just gonna be Jax and I tonight in the RV. I'm sad, but I'm glad she's doing better. Just chilling here in the van watching some big Lebowski on Netflix here. Yeah, comfort shows, you know. Yeah, it's cozy in here. Jax is at your spot right there. At least it's not sunny up there, but that shade really does help keep the sun out of here. So when we camp, I will always put the outdoor shade on the front compartment up here. It definitely helps. Guess what? Your sister's doing better. We're gonna see her in the morning, okay? Then you can give her kisses and bites and scratches and everything else you give her. All right, man. Just pouring hot rain. Boy, this is weird, man. Illinois. <laughs> this is... Oh. <laughs> I'm over the hot rain, guys. Jax, you are something else, man. How do you fit in there? I have dirty silverware near your butt. It's like... There's... Look, there's silverware right there. That, that's my fork. You, okay. So we're going to chill in the van here uh, for the rest of the evening and see how many hours they extend out this new rain pattern magically. I'm going to go pick up Tara in the morning. Hopefully some more drier work on the van. We're going to head back inside and close this one out. Bye guys.